Coming up on Skeeter Bass Champs. The 2021 Skeeter Owners Tournament starts right now. And we go to the scale. Hey, Her. you don't have a spare to hair. <laughs> This could change the lead right here. This is the one. Come on, big boy. There we go, boy. Good job. In 1997, Chad Potts and Jeff Welch created the Bass Champs Tournament Organization, hosting amateur oh, fishing events throughout the state of Texas. And when Skeeter Boats came aboard as the title sponsor, Bass Champs became the largest team tournament circuit in the nation, boasting the richest guaranteed payback in grassroots competition. So if you love bass fishing and you want to have a great time competing in the biggest team tournaments and big fish competitions, it's time to join us at Bass Champs. Welcome to the Skeeter Bass Champs Tournament Trail. I'm your host, Fish Fishburn, and on this weekend's episode, it's gonna be part two of the Skeeter Owners Tournament. That's right, every year in June, we get almost 2,000 participants or more to join us at Lake Fork for one of the biggest and best events in the land. And right now, let's take a look at who has the lead in both divisions. With the largest over-the-slot fish, it's Mr. Arlen Housechild. This guy is a hoot. He's got a 9.82. Check out his hat. And with the largest bass under the slot from day one, Mr. Billy Pritchett, a longtime Bass Champs competitor with a 2.89. So will these weights hold up? We're about to find out. I've got to join Chad Potts on stage because I'm going to make the calls. Welcome to the 2021 Skeeter Owners Tournament. I'm Fish Fishburne, alongside Chad Potts, and we're gonna get this thing started right now. Chad? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hunter Sarrar is gonna kick us off. A seven-year-old fishing with his dad. Come on up, brother. How are you today? Watch the weight at 2.25. Round of applause. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, so All right, Hunter, talk to me about that bass. What'd you get him on? Um, swim bait. Swim bait. And how many bass have you caught today? One. But you caught the right one, yes? Yes. And you're fishing with who? My dad. How many did dad catch? Zero. So, so you beat your dad? A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Seven-year-old angler. <laughs> How about that? I'm up here with Chad Potts. Chad, we got to talk a little bit about yesterday. Mr. Housechild still leading this thing. Right now, what's going on in the weather and all that, I, I think he's got a chance to keep it, and the, and the 289 also has a chance. Oh, man, 289 under is a fantastic fish. We saw that lead change a lot. He's got a good chance. That, that normally wins under. All right, here we go. Let's bring in some more bass. And we have Stanley Norris coming up right now. Stanley? Yes, sir. Guess what you need to get in the top 10? What's that? Absolutely one ounce. And you got 259, look at that. 259, you just took the lead oh, Lord. in the top 10 right That's now. That's what I'm talking Great about. Great job, Chad, a 259. That's a good one, it'll be in the money. All right, look at this fish right here, Chad. That could be a giant money bass. That's two. That's 250 right there at least, isn't it? Let's check. Second place is a 250 right now. This is Timothy McNeil. Home, Timothy, talk about this right here. Where are you from? Knoxville. I live next to Knoxville. I know we've met. I know it's so good to see you. Look at this. Watch it. Wait. 3.08. New leader for the largest under the slot. Wow. <laughs> what just happened? We started where we uh, didn't have to run. Dropped the trolling motor, hit spot lock, and started right there. And you caught that fish on a. Cinco. A Cinco. That's been a very productive bait in the owner's tournament this year. Yep. Who are you fishing with? My buddy Brad. 
Now, do you have an agreement about what happens if you guys were to win the boat or the side-by-side? -side? You split it. You split it? Did you have that discussion? Always. Well, big round of applause right there, new leader. All right, boys and girls, we're gonna be back in 30 minutes for hour number two. Skeeter Bass Champs with Fish Fishburn is brought to you by Skeeter, eat, sleep, fish. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Berkeley, catch more fish. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Techron, expect more. James Wood Motors, visit our family at James Wood in Decatur. Good fish coming right there. This is Keith Weiss from Missouri. How long you lived in that great state? Eight years. Good for you. Let's get a weight of two great bass. 61, 261, brother. I'll send you right there. That is a guaranteed money bass, a 261. We have another junior angler, I think. No, it's not a junior angler. He is a junior angler, but he didn't get in the junior angler division. He got in the adult division, and this is Hunter Watson. Nice. What'll he weigh? All right, let's check it. Watch it, gonna be over that. How about 215? Round of applause for this young man. Look at that. Yeah. Here we go with Cecil Tubb. The bump board checked him about five times. Cecil, perfect bass. Yes, it is. When they just touch that 16 and line, watch this, 2.73. 273, money. I hope so. No, no, <laughs> guaranteed. We have yet to see an over the slot fish come in, but this is just our number two of five. This is Megan Johnson. Megan will need a 216 to make money, and I can already tell you, she just got a payday in my opinion. Megan, that is a great bass. What did you catch that fish on? Oh, she showed me the lure, I'm not gonna announce it. <clears throat> can I have some of those? Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's a soft plastic. Megan Johnson, wait, 2.58. 258, can you say money? Money. Money! Outstanding. Look at that, round of applause for this young lady. And the line is getting ready to be closed. Round of applause for my top 10, congratulations. How was the fishing? One cast, one fish. We did pretty good this morning. We caught a few, lost a few. Having fun, we're not working. Uh, a little slow for us this morning. We caught a few uh, on uh, brush hogs early. That's about it. It was tough and not bad this morning. Uh, slot fish eat us up, man. Oh man, it was interesting. Uh, we did what we did yesterday. We caught a lot in practice, but no unders today, hardly. Uh, still had a lot of fun. Early morning bite was good. Um, slowed down after that, you know, not too many spots to hit. I've just fished it for about 11 years and I just love to come fish it. I come fish the Skeeter tournament to win a boat. I got one and everybody needs two Skeeters. One of the best tournaments around. Any wow. Best prize and just a night to have a Skeeter boat. Why do I come fishing? Because I'm going to win the boat. What about you? Well, I guess I'll shoot for the four-wheeler then so we can get a boat. <laughs> Yes, we are ready, ladies and gentlemen, for hour number three at the Skeeter Owners Tournament 2021. Hour number three, the first two hours, we did not see an over the slot limit fish, which is a little bit odd. Oklahoma angler coming up next is Vince Folks. Vincent, are we pleased? We're happy. I'm very happy with this weight. Watch this. 
2.90. That is a giant. Great job. I hope it holds up for you. If it does, it's a $700 payday. Oh boy, John Lewis is our next angler coming in. And I have just caught wind that this bass might measure as an over. The first over on the hour, they're working him. Working him. Oh, he is short on one side. They're flipping the fish over to check him because the way that a bass is actually built, there's always a thick and a thin side. And when you flip him over, a lot of times they measure. That's right. Jeff Welch, tournament official, has just stepped in. That is a bad sign. Jeff Welch has the mouth pinched up against the tip of the board, fan tailed, right side. Hey, Her. you don't have a spare to hair. <laughs> oh, he made it! He made it! I mean, <clears throat> literally flipping that fish over is what just saved you, sir. Into the scales. Wait. 8.15, 815, new leader for the hour. Yeah. One cast, one fish. Chad, we're about halfway through the final day of the owner's tournament this season. Talk to me about House Child. He's still got the lead. He does, and it, I mean, I know he's got to be nervous right now, but he's got a good one this time of year. It's that 982 may hold up. You know, it is June. We talk about that. We've seen lots of fish. We haven't seen nearly the overs that we expected to see as we did a couple seasons ago. Yeah, and I'm sure that has to do with the, the lake coming up so much. Um, and, you know, it's been a crazy year with the, the freeze that we had earlier, uh, you know, a few months ago, which we normally don't have. So it may be that it, we just don't get some of the big ones that we normally do. It's going to be awesome. All right, let's start the next weigh-in. Let's do it. And we are ready to start hour number four of the 2021 Skeeter Owners Tournament right here on Lake Fork. And the first pass coming in is going to be for Cody Fuller. Cody is going to launch his way into a bass that I think is going to go over 250. Am I right? I hope so. I feel it. Watch him. Wait, 2.55. 255. You realize that is money. Sure hope so. Did you see last hour's lowest weight? Yes, sir. All right, so you're in, baby. There you go, it was a 246 last hour. Go, rumor has it, there is a big bass coming. Here we go, Kevin Wiggins. Here comes Mugumbo. He's coming, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin Wiggins all the way from what great state? California. How about that? Talk about a long distance haul. Watch the weight. 8.60, 860, round of applause. Show him to us, please. Kevin Wiggins, can you share some information on what you caught him on? You know, Fish, it's always great to be up here with you. Uh, we've been fishing this tournament for about 15 times now over the past wow. 20 years. I uh, actually was fishing with uh, one of the Speedo CFO rods that they handed out this time. Uh, this is about, our, I think, our third or fourth over in those years hard to do, so, uh, but we always have some last minute heroics, so today was one of those days, so we appreciate that. Fantastic. Round of applause for your new hourly leader, Kevin Wiggins, fished 15 plus owners tournaments. Unbelievable. I'm here with one of the busiest women in the sport fishing industry, Joanne O'Brien, marketing manager at Skeeter Boats. We are at the owner's tournament. Talk about how big and wonderful this event is. You know, Fish, this is the biggest event we put on. I'm telling you, we have uh, anglers come from all over the country and we've got barbecue on Saturdays, prizes, duck prizes out in the water, 50 ducks. It's just an amazing event. The states that are represented here, if you've never been to an owner's tournament, you need to join us because this year alone, 33 states are represented. 
Yes, Fish, we have people come from all over the country, even overseas. It's an amazing event. You've got to come join us. Joanne O'Brien, thank you for your time. Oh, absolutely. Y'all come out and fish the Skeeter Owners Tournament. Get a boat, find a friend that's got a boat, and come join us. Here we go. This is Mark Brock. Is he going to be a spoiler? Bo, we're watching. Come on up, Mark. Looking for a 243 to get in the money. Bam! 275! What? Bye bye, Bo! Hello, money. Uh, how you doing? Dude, you're loaded right there. That's a giant. <laughs> That's a good one. What'd you get him on? I can't take that. All right. <laughs> I got nothing, but he's going to make lots of money. Largest fish caught under the slot is still a 308, a 3.08. He is going to drive that Wolverine X4 Yamaha out of here. All the way back. If it holds up for one hour and? Uh, three minutes. Whoa, an hour three. You know he's so nervous. I would be. I know, right? What's the largest under the slot you ever remember? I think it was about like a 315 maybe. Wow. I think that's about right. They just don't show up that often over three pounds. Here we go, and the line is closed. Congratulations to my top 10. Round of applause, great job, great effort. $700 to you, Mr. Wiggins. Skeeter Bass Champs with Fish Fishburn is brought to you by Skeeter, eat, sleep, fish. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Berkeley, catch more fish. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Techron, expect more. James Wood Motors, visit our family at James Wood in Decatur. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for hour number five, the fifth and final weigh-in at the Skeeter Owners Tournament for 2021. I'm Fish Fishburn, this is Chad Potts, and the weigh-in starts now. Brandon Aron coming up next. Brandon, Louisiana angler, will bring us bass number one. Hello. How are you doing? Wonderful. What a beautiful weekend this has been as far as the weather goes, except for a little rain last night. This is a 221. First fisherman in. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. And Glenn Watson. Glenn, I don't know. You think you'll make it? Uh, I'll do. All right. We're looking for two. 29, the weights are gonna start going up progressively. Wait, 267, 267, new hourly leader. Thank you, man. Uh, I need that. That's gonna be $700 if it holds up. Check in right there and go have a seat. Jacob Vincent. Jacob goes by Blake, how are you? Good. Good, man. And a good weight, watch this. Leading right now is a 267, Jacob Vincent's weight, 279. Reach in there and show us that fast young man. You, sir, have the lead for the hour. 15 seconds remaining on the clock and Eric Jones is the next to last angler. We're looking at you, Neil Pike, in the number 10 spot with a 239. Eric Jones, weight. 234. Oh! Great effort. The line is closed. Last angler. Nope, there's a second one snuck in. Two anglers left. This is bigger staff. You need a 239 to tie. Neil Pike does not want to see it. I know you do. Scales, light them up. 2.44. You're in. You're out. Goodbye. Bigger staff squeezes in. The top 10, final angler coming up now. What's gonna happen? He needs a 239 to bump Larry Matthews. This is William, your last name is? Bob Rosenberg. Von Rosenberg, can he do it? Needs a 239, 251, Von Rosenberg! Good, that's it. Oh, the man with the longest name in the competition this weekend just did it. Oh. Chad, what just happened? I, I, I don't know. I don't, are you all right? That was like four syllables, really. <laughs> that was great. <laughs>
Every year at the Skeeter Owners Tournament, we award the largest fish under that all-important slot limit. How about a 3.80 for Knoxville's own Timothy? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It was, uh, it was a fun day for sure. I love it. Have you seen this thing? This thing's out of control, the Wolverine X4. I know. We're, uh, first time I laid eyes on it, I just walked past it earlier because I didn't want to jinx myself. So, <laughs> Great job, man. Thank you. All right, have a safe trip home. Let's go over here and visit with our overall Big Bass winner. I can't tell you how many times I've said this man's name over the day and a half that we had at the owner's tournament this year. Arlen Housechild is our overall champion with a 982. And Arlen, I've said your name so many times because you weighed in the very first hour. Talk about it. Yes, absolutely. We we caught it the first hour and we came right on in. Yeah. Uh, been fishing with him probably 18, 20 years already. Wow. Oh yeah, it's been a while. And of course, this is the greatest thing. I'm an old fella. <laughs> Arlen, congratulations. What a oh, great fish. Oh, thank you. I look forward to seeing you guys and you next year at the Skeeter's Owners Tournament. It's a big event. If you've never competed with, with the Skeeter OT, you got to come out. It's yes. absolutely over the top. I'm Fish Fishburn for the Skeeter Bass Champs Television Series. We'll see you next time. It's time now for Berkeley's Best Baits. Berkeley Powerbait Fluteworm features a tapered flute tail that twitches and moves with the most subtle movement. Perfect for Nico rigs. The blunt head features an integrated location for insert weights, allowing the bait to stop the bottom when hopping the rig. Additionally, there are three O-ring locations for either Nico or Wacky rigs, and the bait is available in three sizes and 12 awesome colors. And that's your Berkeley's best bait. But as a, that is a great bass. Too good. But the bad news is that is a slot bass. We will not wait. Good news is Law's not here. Yes. Oh, more bad news. Law just showed up. Oh.